Hi, Dan here. Hope you're doing well. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you four chord shapes that are really going to help your rock playing. I've got a new rock based book out, which is why I'm doing a few rock based lessons. I absolutely love this genre. And researching the book, it's all in the style of very famous players. And I came across some power chord shapes I knew and one I didn't. So Lemmy used a lot of power chords. And what I was doing in the beginning. <laughs> doing two shapes. I'm going to teach you those now. This is probably most famously heard in Ace of Spades. John Entwistle used a lot of power chords as well. Play an F on the third fret of the D string and all the power chord is, is five. That's what the notation is and that refers to the fifth note in the scale. So just go two across and one string down to the G and that's your very simple root five shape. It sounds especially amazing. <laughs> with some distortion. Okay, so if you've got a pedal or a plug-in, use that. The crucial thing to get is to mute the other strings, especially if you're using distortion. You don't want any unwanted noise. There are loads of ways you can do this. You can use a longer finger to touch a string you're not playing, or you can do what I'm doing in this case, which is I'm pushing the fingertip of the first finger up against the underside of the A string. And of course, I'm using a plectrum now. I'm just being careful not to hit the A. Now, if you practice that way to get it precise and accurate, hopefully when you're actually in the middle of a gig, you won't be hitting strings, but your muting will take care of things. The second power chord shape, which is very common in rock, is, is exactly the same as this, but we add in the octave. It just thickens it up a little bit. So now I'm going to the C third fret A string. There's a few ways to play this, or two ways really, I normally play this. First finger on the root, then you've got that fifth again, which is two across, one string down. So this is the G on the fifth fret of the D string. So C and G. I've got fingers one and three, and then I'm gonna use the little finger for the octave, which is the C fifth fret G string. And here I'm doing that pushing up trick against the E string. That's a massive sound there, you know, use sparingly. I'll leave that up to you. In the intro, I was improvising around D. So I was doing C to D. It's sort of uh, Ace of Spades-like kind of line. Some hammer-ons. And then the C is right under that first finger. Now this is how I played the power chord. I did one of those full power chords with the root, the five and the octave. And I just went like this. I'm hammering on with the little finger. And then I just use the little finger to bar the fifth fret of both the D and the G strings. That sort of saved me having to do anything a bit more drastic. Of course, you could hammer on with the third finger. You can do lots of different things. Those two are probably the most common power chord types that there are, the root five and then adding in the octave. And then we've got this Justin Chancellor style chord, although the previous tool bass player, Paul Damore, he used this as well. So it's probably where Justin Chancellor got it from. But before reviewing and writing my book, I didn't actually know this one. Here it is. Just absolutely massive. So what I've done here is I've tuned the E string down a tone to D. So this is now a D. Then you've got fifth fret of the A string, D there. Then you've got the open D, and then you've got a high D on the seventh fret. So you've got super D chord here. Tool write loads of music around D and you can utilize this really well if you do that. So what I was doing was These notes here, they kind of outline a, like a D Phrygian mode and it just sounds evil. It sounds rock, that's why I'm doing it. So we've got a D. Then we've got an E flat. Then an F. And then a C. All these notes will work. So I'm doing the chord. And I've got one big strum here from the E to the G, just dragging the plectrum gently, sort of angling it up. 
but then I've got to get back to the A string quite quickly. I'm using the sort of heel of my hand here to just mute the E string. That F is a good note to go to. I'm doing some little slidey stuff on one string here. This is a good place to show you the final sort of rock power chord type. This is used in Won't Be Fooled Again. There's a, I'll put a link below to, to where you can hear all of these in action. But there's a moment where Entwistle does this. He uses, actually not a pick, he uses his thumb and first finger. And it's just octaves and with a bit of distortion it sounds really, really impressive. So here I am going on the D, the D note, fifth fret of the A string, first finger, then little finger on the octave. I've got the first finger again pushed up on the underside of the E and I'm just backing that same finger onto the D to mute it. If you're using a plectrum, you sort of have to drag it across the D string. If it's muted, no problem. If you're on a D, of course, that's fine. If you were on an E flat, horrible. So you've got to have muting in, in this case. Or thumb index. If you're interested in that book, I'll put a link below. It teaches you all these power chord shapes, apart from the octave one. But that's easy enough for you to learn. What I would suggest is you just learn the shapes as they are, and then I'm a big proponent of making music from them. So what I'm doing, those notes I was sort of telling you, they're good notes to, to you know, uh, experiment with all the shapes. At the beginning I was doing C to D, then the F root five shape, then going to the C with the full shape, and then moving to the full tool, Justin Chancellor, D chord. And then moving to the end twistle. Using very simple pentatonic notes and rock music, and this is emphasized in the book very strongly, rock tends to use pretty simple notes. It's all about the intent and the aggression and the tone. I've got a bit of distortion going on here. So I hope that helped you. As I said, I'll put a link below. Any questions, let me know. I've got a few more rock bass videos coming out over the next two weeks or so. I absolutely love this genre of music and it's, it's it just taps into a different part of your brain. It's so primal. I just love it. So if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.